channel. Today I'm doing a makeup look for summer. This very glam, perfect for those summer nights of partying. And this is actually a collab, collab video with my beautiful and so sweet friend here on YouTube. Her name is Veronika and she's from Norway and, and she and I have been talking about doing this collab video for like... How long is it? Like a long time. Long time. I'm feeling a little weird today because yeah, I have my period and you know, like that's just never fun. But I'm really excited for this and, and we've been talking about what we wanted to do and we wanted to do something with affordable makeup and with Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So I have been playing around with this bad boy for this look and what we wanted to do was to create something with the foil eyeshadows. We just ordered them both at the same time, we just like had the same thoughts all the time. I tried to create a more warm look with uh, my eyeshadows because I like that and she created a more cool tone look. But we're both using Makeup Geek eyeshadows. She's really really sweet that she wanted to do this makeup video collab with me because she has a lot more subscribers than me so please please guys if you like my channel and if you want to support me please go and subscribe to her because it's really really sweet of her and please tell her that I send you it would mean so much to me because she is actually doing me a huge favor and yeah collabing with me so please go and subscribe to her that would mean a great deal for me she does great reviews, great makeup tutorials, she has the most beautiful long hair, she does some videos in Norwegian and some in English and I know you will love her, she's really really cool, she is, she has so much knowledge that I don't have, so she's really really cool, please go and tell her that I sent you. So without any further ado, let's get into this makeup look. As always, we're starting with primer and I'm using my favorite affordable primer. This is the one from Kiko Mega Bilano. And when you're doing a dramatic look, you want to prime those lids. I'm also using sticky tape to get that harsh straight line. And I'm just going to build up the color and I'm using darker and darker colors. I'm using with beaches and cream first and now I'm just looking for something it seems. Yeah, found it. And now I'm using Peach Smoothie and next color is Creme Brulee. Also for Makeup Geek, everything is today is for Makeup Geek almost. And you can see I'm just building up the color. It's the easiest way to get it right. It's definitely foolproof when you need to blend. Now I'm using a uh, eyeshadow base for my eyeshadow and I'm using this uh, Maybelline color to two. Everything will be listed down below. And the reason why I'm using it is because I'm using this foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and it's called Starry Eyes and you can see why it's called that. It's the most beautiful silver peach color. Um, it reminds me a lot of Stila's Kitten. It's definitely a little more rosy and peachy in real life than it looks on camera. And it's actually not as warm toned as I thought it would be. But um, I'm going to fix that with more warmer tones in my crease. And now I'm using Grandstand also by Makeup Geek. Well, <laughs> And uh, this step might not be necessary, but, but, but I wanted to do like an ombre effect and just put this in my outer V. It doesn't sh turn up a, on as much on camera as I thought it would, but I like that like more, like, yeah, like that ombre. But to get a more defined outer V, I'm now using Coco Bear. I'm just putting on little by little just to warm up my crease and I'm just putting the most of the product in my outer V and then I'm dragging it a little bit into my crease. The next shade is Corrupt. It's the most black eyeshadow you've ever seen, so be careful, please. It's really, really, really pigmented. And I'm just going to darken that out of you even more, just to get a beautiful cat eye. And I'm just going to blend with a little more Coco Bear because that was really, really pigmented. But these eyeshadows are so easy to blend, so... And if you are careful with that transition shade, if you layer darker and darker colors, it won't be a problem. Because of some of that starry eyed, starry eyes shadow went a little way, I just put on some more. And I'm also going to line my upper lash line a little bit because I'm putting on lashes. And that second you take off that sticky tape is just the best feeling in the world. Look at that. Oof, yes. 
I'm using my Benefit Roller Lash today. You don't have to use a high end. It was just the only mascara I had open today. So I'm using that one. And I'm putting on some Ardell Demi Wispy because with a look like that, yeah, I just just looks so beautiful with lashes, in my opinion, at least. I'm using a beautiful luminous primer today. It's the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer. And I'm using it because I'm using a very, very matte foundation today. It's the L'Oreal Infallible foundation and I actually really don't like this foundation for my very very dry skin I made a, a, a review on this because it was yeah it's it's just not good but but if you have it on like two hours it will be okay so more it just looks like crap yeah <clears throat> yeah I'm using my Maybelline fit me concealer to highlight a little bit it's actually more dark than my foundation it seems like but um I'm just going to conceal those dark circles and I'm setting it with my Maybelline Dream Matte powder because I just need to set my concealer even though I have dry skin it's just totally necessary although otherwise it will crease on me yes and I, I like the concealer a lot you've seen it so many times I like it a lot now I'm taking Barcelona Beach and it's a beautiful cool tone brown and I use it a lot to contour because it's very cool tone and it's not too dark so for us more fair girls from Scandinavia and other places it's really really good to contour with underneath my eyes I wanted to define those eyes more and I'm using Coco Bear just to define them a little more it opens the eyes and makes them more yeah open and I'm blending it out with some peach smoothie just so it doesn't look like I have a big line under those eyes it makes it more smoky Yes. And I wanted it to be a more dramatic look, so I'm using my NYX. It's a new eyeliner and I really like it. It's very creamy, it stays on for a long time on me. And to make it last even more, I'm just setting it with some eyeshadow. This is Coco Bear again, just to yeah, make it stay in place, just to touch it a little bit with some eyeshadow. I'm just coating those lower lashes and getting totally out of the frame, but I'm also using my Bourjois Highlight Duo Bronzer and Highlight and I'm actually using both of the colors and I know that looks like it's super pigmented but don't worry I will blend it out I know it looks really really crazy right now don't worry I will blend it out in just a second but I really like this bronzer just to warm up my really really pale and fair face and uh, yeah started blending yes 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 blend girl blend blend girlfriend yes i'm now taking care of those eyebrows and i'm having a new product here i have been using for the past month and i really like this nyx brow gel for blondes it's actually really really good my blush today is spellbound by makeup geek yeah it's a makeup geek kind of day and this is my favorite blush from them it's really really beautiful and for highlight it's also a makeup geek kind of day because I'm using shimmer shimmer for my highlight I actually have been doing this a lot it's a beautiful highlight very affordable six dollars and you get a very very nice highlight I'm putting this everywhere my cheekbones my nose I like when I have on this really really matte foundation I love to highlight yes shine girl shine and some more contouring. I'm thinking this is a really glam look, so that nose needs some contour. But I also need to blend. So this Real Technique Stippling Brush is really going to town today, isn't it? Those lips also need some color, so I'm using this Matte Balm Lips something <laughs> by Revlon. And I really like this one, but I needed some more juicy lips in my opinion so i'm using this nyx lip gloss in beige i love this one look at those juicy lips omg it's really really juicy yes and now i am done i'm going to take my hair out so i don't look like a caveman i still look kind of like a caveman at least my hair does <clears throat> and this is the finished look guys I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial please go and check out Veronica's Veronica's <laughs> tutorial and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and all that jazz thank you so much for watching as I already said that I'll see you in my next video bye